The Newt 5 Huntsville School Zone crossing guards are moving away from uniforms that currently label them as police. Now they're moving to a neutral yet brighter garb. Way through noise, Matt Kroeser joins us live in Huntsville. And Matt, this change over in uniforms is all about safety. Yeah, for the 70 plus crossing guards that are out here working these school zones and of course the kids that are using these intersections every day, intersections that are only getting busier and busier. Sometimes we cross 15 or 20 kids at a time. Sometimes we cross one or two. Debbie McAnally has helped the kiddos safely cross Huntsville streets for the past 15 years. Soon all crossing guards will have a brand new, brighter look. This is what you will see in the school zones. While the uniforms are changing, the job is not. If your crossing guard is facing you or has her back to you, you are supposed to stop. Beyond the need to help increase crossing guards visibility after some close calls with cars in the past, the city wants to make it clear these part-time crossing guards are not sworn police officers. In today's environment, it has gotten a little dangerous to be you know, seen as a police officer and um, we didn't want anybody to mistake our crossing guards as police officers. So we're um, taking that all away. Gone will be the patches and police emblems replaced with neon. So if you're speeding or you're not following the directions of the crossing guard, they will stop you. Sworn police officers are still patrolling school safety zones. And you will get a ticket and it will be a pretty hefty ticket because it's a school zone. For Debbie, it all comes down to keeping kids safe as they make their way to and from school. And so if you do anything to mess with the safety of a child, you will have an angry crossing guard on you. So they're retiring all of those old uniforms in the process of changing them out to the new ones right now. So you'll be seeing those in a school zone near you very soon. Reporting in Huntsville, Matt Groeschel, Way 31 News.